July 20, 2019, Saturday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Ramesses for Sukkoth, about 600,000 men on foot, not counting the little ones. A crowd of mixed ancestry also went up with them, besides their livestock, very numerous flocks and herds. Since the dough they had brought out of Egypt was not leavened, they baked it into unleavened loaves. They had rushed out of Egypt and had no opportunity even to prepare food for the journey. The time the children of Israel had stayed in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of 430 years, all the hosts of the Lord left the land of Egypt on this very date. This was a night of vigil for the Lord, as he led them out of the land of Egypt. So on this same night, all the children of Israel must keep a vigil for the Lord throughout their generations. The Word of the Lord The Responsorial Psalm The response is, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our abjection, for his mercy endures forever, and freed us from our foes, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Who smote the Egyptians in their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from their midst, for his mercy endures forever. With a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Who split the Red Sea in twain, for his mercy endures forever, and led Israel through its midst, for his mercy endures forever, but swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory. And in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord.